Maintaining a consistent prayer life. Part 1. Tip 1. Schedule a daily time of prayer. Everything in life that we desire to be consistent in requires scheduling. If we want to be consistent in working out, we schedule a time for exercise. If we desire to be consistent in paying our bills on time, we schedule a date. If we wish to be consistent in homework, we schedule a time of studying. And if we want to be consistent in prayer, then we should schedule a daily time to be with God. Men and women of God throughout the Old and New Testaments had daily times of secret prayer with the Lord. A couple of perfect examples of this is King David and the prophet Daniel. Evening and morning, and at noon, I will pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. Psalms 55 verse 17. And in his upper room, with his windows open toward Jerusalem, he knelt down on his knees three times that day, and prayed and gave thanks before his God, as was his custom since early days. Daniel 6.10 Both King David and the prophet Daniel, who was a leading governor in all of Babylon, scheduled their time of prayer in the morning, at noon, and in the evening time. Tip 2. Make mundane tasks a reminder to pray. This tip is probably one of the most eye-opening encounters I have ever had with God. When my daughter was born, it was very difficult for me to break away and spend time with God in secret prayer for the first couple of weeks, because I was still trying to learn how to be a dad and catch up on sleep. If you have kids, you can relate. Tip 3. Read the Word of God daily. At first glance, some of you may be thinking this tip is kind of strange, because what does reading the Word have to do with prayer? Others of you have been fully Christianized, and you would be shocked if a tip such as read the Bible daily didn't make it on this list. Tip 4. Avoid consuming the trash of this world. The Bible makes it clear that anyone who loves the world is an enemy of God. James 4 4. The Bible also makes it clear that whatever we decide to immerse ourselves into, we end up becoming. 1 Corinthians 15 33, Matthew 12 verse 34 to 35. Both of those verses I link to are really good examples of this. But an even better passage is in Romans chapter 6, where Paul is explaining how to live a life that is free from sin. For just as you presented your members as slaves of uncleanness and of lawlessness leading to more lawlessness, so now present your members as slaves of righteousness for holiness.